Hello and welcome to my newest video. Today I'm going to take a quick first look at Dragonerium, um, which is most likely uh, Dragon and Ethereum put together as a name. And this game is going to be or wants to be another crypto collectible um, game such as uh, CryptoKitties or Etherbots or most of the other games, but with real gameplay as you can already see from the screen. So they're already trying to um, stand out in terms of actually having real gameplay which I think I have talked about in the past a lot of these crypto games so far have been lacking uh, a lot of these a lot of these games they focus on the funding first and that makes absolute sense but a lot of times they don't really provide any real gameplay so the guy the game after a lot of these collectible or uh, digital assets have been bought die off really quickly because they can't really uh, release uh, actual gameplay for the majority of the player base to enjoy uh, quickly enough um, before the the hype dies down again of uh, of the game. So in this case, I think there's already quite an important USB they're trying to um, uh, convey uh, convey in their message as well. As you can see, the website in my opinion looks really nice compared to a lot of the other crypto collectible or crypto games out there. Uh, I think they actually make the distinction between crypto collectibles on one of the medium articles here crypto collectibles and crypto games so they're trying to stand out by not being a crypto collectible as they see the problem with this category is that these games have no real gameplay they want to be an actual crypto game that you can enjoy so yes as they already state on the official website um, you can breed your dragons you can um, basically create these kind of on-chain genetics and fights so basically it's going to be on the blockchain uh, breeding is going to be on the blockchain but um, the they call the in-game economy being off-chain which is not necessarily true because that's also going to happen on the blockchain itself um, maybe they're trying to say that everything is going to um, happen on the blockchain but they're trying to introduce gameplay that is actually fun and I still think there are some pitfalls and, and some some challenges involved in that because most of the games that try to do everything on the blockchain they kind of meet that that um, hurdle that they often do not they are not able to overcome uh, eventually because um, most of these games out now that actually have gameplay that are not crypto games they rely on on server based interaction or maybe even on local desktop interaction so you have everything stored on your on your um, desktop pc or on your laptop and obviously all these interactions going to be much faster if they are not constantly um, um, done on the on the smart in the smart contract so obviously um, there are some some major challenges they have to face in order to make this an, a unique and fluid um, gaming experience for the player base uh, as they try to promise it um, as the first sentence basically on the website so I I guess this is going to be a really important point or a really important feature for them um, to make this game gameplay heavy and not as game collectible or crypto collectible heavy as a lot of or the majority of the other crypto games out there so yeah so far there isn't too much out yet other than uh, the website which I said before I think it looks really nice you can check out the different social channels on the website I'm going to post a link to Dragon Miriam I hope I pronounce it correctly um, in the video description also in the comments below this video um, other than that I'm also going to post a link to the telegram I don't think they have a disk or they actually have a discord channel so I'm going to post this one in the video description as well um, I guess that they the, well they actually post it on the the website itself the link to the discord I'm, I'm assuming that this is going to be the official discord and that's why the uh, developer is also going to be in the discord so you might want to ask him where the direction of this game uh, is and and what they're trying to achieve here and maybe some more in-game information or more detailed information because right now honestly there isn't too much out yet uh, I think the the first article on their medium page was posted on March 9th so that was this month um, since then they have posted another one where they're trying to explain the different genetics of their dragons and how breeding will work uh, as usual I haven't really read myself too much into it again this is a first look video but I'm assuming it's going to work similar to most of the other crypto collectible games at least in this regard even though it doesn't want to be a crypto collectible game in that for example uh, crypto kitties uh, you also have you're also going to have these different gene 0 to gene I guess gene 6 or maybe maybe even g10 uh, you're also going to have level from 1 to 99 
So it's quite similar to most of the other uh, games out there that have these type of um, animal collectibles or monster collectible um, assets. So yeah, other than that, check out um, the website yourself. Check out the Medium page. As you can see here, these are actually quite interesting, unique graphics, in my opinion. They are also posting um, new dragon types they are introducing into the game that aren't uh, listed every time, or at least for now, um, on a continuous basis. So there are always going to be more um, to look at and just to get a feel of if you like the game, if you enjoy, or if you will like the game, if you enjoy the, the in-game graphics. Again, this is just my personal opinion because um, obviously I can't talk for everyone else, but I think these graphics look quite unique. Um, they look quite different from most of the other crypto collectible games, but again, graphics and everything, um, they have to really um, nail the, the 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 gaming part, so to speak. And obviously, um, there's going to be breeding, as I said. They're going to be uh, like these on-chain genetics and fights. So there's also going to be battling, and you will also have the ability to probably level your dragons uh, and and grow them in strength and other other stats they might have later down the line. So yeah. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about this game, uh, considering that there isn't too much information out yet. Uh, read through the white paper on the website if you're interested. Um, this is actually quite a long white paper as far as I'm seeing. I haven't really read myself through it, but as you can see here, there, there's a lot of comprehensive information on how they try to build up their, their different, um, different uh, breeding mechanics and how all these dragons are interconnected with each other. So yeah, in my opinion, first look, I really like, I really dig the unique graphic style. Oh, I mean, who doesn't like dragons? Um, I hope they can, they can uh, make these promises. They try to try to implement um, a reality in the long run, in the medium run, and hopefully it won't take too long until first gameplay is released. Um, yeah, as I said, leave a comment, tell me what you think about this game. Do you think it's just another similar game to CryptoKitties or all the other kind of clones out there? Do you think it has some merit? Do you think it has some uniqueness to it? Hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time. And as, as you should always remember, please, before I forget it, uh, don't take this video as financial advice. Only invest as much as you can or uh, well, basically can afford to lose or willing affor to afford to lose. And um, for now, you can't actually invest in anything because there's not really game out yet. So I guess that's not really a problem. But once the game is actually released, once you can invest Ethereum in, in the game, please be careful with your investment. Yeah, hope you liked the video. See you next time. Bye.